Hey, Chris. Hello there. Hello. Hi, what's your name? My name is Krishna. What, uh, oh. Well, I know your name. Your name is Chris. Yeah. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you today? I'm pretty good. I'm so far so good. Well, could you just speak up a bit? Speak up a bit. Oh. Sorry, yes. Is that any better? Yeah, it, it is much better. I can hear oh, you now. So, uh, uh, look, I'm telling you, well, um, I'm saying something that uh, uh, we will start talking about a topic, okay? And then if I make any mistakes, if I make any grammar mistakes and pronunciation mistakes, then you will correct me at the end of the video. I mean, at the end at of the video. Right. right. So, That's true. We, yeah. So we will be talking about uh, monkeypox. <laughs> monkeypox, okay. Viral disease, right? So, yeah. well, right? so as you know very well that uh, it's a virus, it's a, it's a viral disease, and uh, the whole world is actually concerned about this. Before that, well, we already had an, uh, another virus, which was COVID-19, and it almost uh, ruined everything <laughs> from different, uh, different parts of the world. And it was like, you know, it was, we were like in a hell, and then we never imagined that this, this thing would ever happen in our lives. And then now we see the new kind of virus, monkeypox. So what do you think about this? What, what, what it is? And like, what are the major steps that a government should take in order to mitigate the rising cases of monkeypox? Yeah, I'm asking you. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Um, what do I think uh, a government can, uh, the steps that they can take to mitigate the rising cases? Um, I think the main thing is uh, to um, allow people to uh, uh, allow people to make their own decisions and to allow the vulnerable members of society uh, to be protected and to be safe and for their um, to be covered financially as well. The same, but one more one more important thing is here that you know the incubation period of virus something like two weeks three weeks and then the virus you know virus is a non-living thing a micro or a microscopic organism which is a non-living thing and it uh, it gets activated when it enters in a host in animals in plants and then it replicates itself and then it multiplies the number and we know that, right? So, well, the, the, the major steps that a government should take, in my point of view, which I think that, um, like self-isolation, yeah, people should, uh, people should self-isolate themselves because this is how we can actually um, mitigate the rising cases of monkeypox or any viral disease, like the ongoing viral disease, which is COVID-19. It has already, it is, it has been spiking and we, we, we can, this is how we can actually control. And, and the one yeah. thing, quarantine, the thing, quarantine yourself for three weeks and, you know, because, you know, when you touch co contaminated objects, food, clothes, bed or anything, when you meet people every single day and then what happens? We touch them, we, we shake our hands and then unknowingly we get infected right yeah definitely yeah i agree um it's very important to self-isolate uh, especially when you've come down with symptoms and you've got uh, you're displaying symptoms um but you, know what? To... you know what you know what you know the in your country in the uk for the first time well i watch a lot of bbc news and you know, it actually helps me to know so many things and learn this language to understand okay. British accent. So I was watching, uh, you know, a kind of video, something like uh, 
the World Health Organization declare uh, emergency health or something on 26th July or something. I don't remember yeah. the exact date, but yes, something like that. And then the first confirmed case was found in, in Nigeria because this is the virus which uh, has emerged from the Africa continent, right? And it's especially from that country, Nigeria. And then the, 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 declar the declaration was confirmed when uh, a case was found in your country, in the UK. Is it true? Um, I haven't uh, followed it so much myself because um, I, I haven't seen much in the news about it, to be honest, uh, with, with, in regards to monkeypox. Um, but then I haven't been watching the news uh, that often. But um, I, I, I believe you're correct that the, the uh, World Health Organization did declare it um, just recently, wasn't it, on the 26th? Was that yeah, yesterday? Yeah. Recently, mm. recently, yeah. the World Health Organization declared this. Yeah, so, so we'll probably hear more about it is, soon. How, how, how dangerous, how dangerous this virus is? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be as dangerous as the COVID-19 virus. What, what do you think? As compared to, as compared to the COVID-19 virus, how yeah. dangerous this virus is. Which one is more dangerous, COVID-19 um, or monkeypox? Possibly COVID-19. Of course I'm it is, because sure. COVID-19 has so many variants. Right. Yes. Yes. So, um, yeah, the, the monkeypox, hopefully it won't be as, as bad and, you know, we'll be able to carry on living our lives. Well, look, these days what happens is that people travel from one country to another country and yeah. we don't know. We don't know that who is carrying that virus. Maybe you're, no. you, you just, you're just standing somewhere on a street and then that person coughs and sneezes, the water droplets that flow in the, you know, air. And then what do we do? Yeah. We just take inside our body and then we just, we get, we also get infected by that disease. So yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. Like how can we actually control, like, these are the things that we've been actually talking about. Yeah, I mean, um, with uh, the particles, apart from masks, face coverings, um, and obviously, like you said, self-isolation uh, for when you have symptoms, but also it's, uh, at the same time, it's in very important to continue living our lives because um, a, a lot of devastation can be caused by lockdowns. Yeah, and you know, I I have heard I've heard I watched a video on YouTube and it was about Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister. He yeah. he got COVID nineteen. He, he was he, yes, he did. Yeah, I remember that. That was uh, the beginning of uh, that was in twenty twenty, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, and in the Parliament, he was saying something hasta la vista or something. Have you watched that video? Um, oh, hasta la vista. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I Bor saw Boris that Johnson. One. Boris Johnson is saying something in that video. Like he was in the parliament and he was giving a, a lecture, a speech, and something. And then he was saying hasta la vista, people, or something. I, I didn't understand properly, but I understood that particular part. And yeah, I watched uh, those videos. And like, hey, yes, he was infected. I mean, he he has been infected by COVID nineteen. Also, the the, the U.S. President, uh, Joe Biden, he has also been infected by COVID-19. So don't you yeah. think that we, we, we need to be aware of these viruses, right? But yeah, people, people uh, you know, we meet every single day and we don't know carrying that virus. So <laughs> it's hard to know, right? It is. It is. It's, um, you, you know, we... we um, you just don't know really um and one of the main things is to to uh, strengthen our own immune systems and look after our yeah. health um so that our immune systems are healthy and strong to be able to um fight off any uh, viruses or attacks on the immune system yeah so how many minutes yeah. do we have 
Do you uh, see that? Oh, where does it say how many minutes? Oh, it's four. Four, four minutes. minutes. Yeah. So now, a analyze my English and correct me. Right, okay. You, first of all, I'd like to say that your English is brilliant. Very, very good. Really, really good. I, I can tell you. The common European reference of language, something, you have to tell me. I mean, yes. my little devil. Go ahead. Yes, well, that's what I was just about to say. Um, there's one word that I picked up on your pronunciation uh, for, I think you said um, quarantine, um, but it's, we actually pronounce it quarantine. So quarantine. Oh. Yeah, so I'm, exactly. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning the American pronunciation. Ah, right. So maybe they say it uh, quarantine in American then. Oh, possibly. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'm British. So I know. Yeah, but um, pretty. Uh, it was really good. Your English was perfect. Um, like spot on. Like really, really good. Um, I didn't see a, apart from. That pronunciation, there was, uh, there wasn't any, there were no errors, none at all. So oh my god! So I am like, you, you can, I can tell that you've been practicing for a long time, have you? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm telling. Well, to be honest, I, I haven't been practicing for so long on this application. I mean, yes, I have been practicing so, so long for, but, 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 but not on this application. On you know, uh, with oh, on another one. Right? Yeah. So right. yeah, I've joined this. Uh, I've joined on this application a year ago, and then my one year anniversary on this application is about to come on 9th of August, and I'm happy. I've made a lot of tutors, lovely tutors, good tutors like you. You people are really amazing. You help people to learn. You, you know, I sometimes I think I think of a situation that what would happen if there were no apps like these application Cambly, then people who have been struggling to speak English or, or any other languages who, who have been trying to learn, they would not have been able to, you know, speak like this. So you are helping and that's great. Yeah, that's brilliant. And what, what which other applications have you been on? Which other websites? Well, there are some Indian applications like Ace, Ryu and Chi and uh, Hello and Duolingo. Uh, yeah, uh, right. yeah, I've heard of um, Hello Talk. Oh, that's really good. Um, well, well, yeah. But you know what? But you know what? When, when, when will you be able to uh, speak English perfectly? When you interact with, with a tutor on a video call. So that you can actually boost your confidence. That actually yeah, really definitely. Well, you are very, very good speaking English very good you're one thank of the you, best thank you very much thank you very much you're, you're the best that I've spoken to so far the best the best so far thank you today. thank you very much thank you very much it means a lot to me I mean I've been working really hard and I'm still learning language language is something that you can you cannot learn overnight right I mean it's you need to work definitely. every single day and interact with people who whose native language is English, then you can, you know, be the best. And this is Definitely. what I'm doing. Definitely, yeah. And um, so do you work as well? No, I don't work. I study. Oh, right. What are you studying? Uh, well, I've been studying physics, literature, oh. and I'm learning another language, uh, Spanish. Well, it's oh. a pretty difficult, I mean, it's tricky yeah. to learn the language. Oh, That's and I teach other students. I'm a part-time, I'm a part-time tutor. So I teach them. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's great. So you are very busy then. Yeah, I'm very busy. I mean, yeah. I'm helping them to understand. Yeah. And so them. what what do you like about the English language then? Well, it's a it's a beautiful language. It's a, it's a fascinating language. It is the only language in the entire world to which you can connect with people all over the world. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a beautiful language, man. I mean, you can learn so many things, and you know, wherever you go, you can talk with people, you can share your ideas, and uh, you can 
start a good conversation. Uh, well, by the way, we don't have enough time. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to Bye. meet you, Bob. Meet you soon, Krishna. Take care. Bye, Chris. Bye.